Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone. My name's Lumen and right now it's time for some more ranked play. I'm super keen to jump in with a secret paladin for this video just because I got owned by it when I was playing the Dragon Priest. Again, like I said in that video, it can go either way. I mean, that person had the most godlike opening ever. That doesn't just happen. It doesn't. But uh, I'm going to play a slightly more aggressive version of the deck. And with this one... You can kind of overrun your opponent really early on, or it can just fizzle. It can. There's always that. Uh, it runs a whole lot of the aggro paladin cards. Lipper gnomes, haunted creepers, knife juggler. Uh, the musters are in there, obviously. Uh, big, big swing card is divine favor. You know, it's really good having that. I would actually, in many cases, keep that in my opening hand if I get it. Just because. And then obviously... The big boy. The mysterious challenger. This one runs one kings and one shredder. I think that can also just go either way. And you can also easily interchange those with True Silver Champion. You can do really anything. Like, Secret Paladin. All you need in there is the secrets. The secret keeper. You don't even need that. And the mysterious challenger. I would say that's all that matters. Secrets plus mysterious challenger. The rest is... The rest is all just extra fluff. All just extra fluff. So, the opener makes a huge difference. And what you're playing against, that really matters as well. Oh, Paladins. Who would have thought? Who would have thought they would be the ones? You know, the most hated. I'll keep that. Class. On the ladder. This. This could be really good or really bad. Now, if they're playing Secret Paladin, it all depends on if they're playing like the mid rangey version or the aggro version. Because if I can drop my hand and get the Divine Favor off, I will win. And that, right there, is really good. That's a good sign. Now... I... I like playing Abusive Sergeant, because against Paladin that contests everything if you have Muster for Battle for the next turn. So now if he plays a mini bot, I get to play Muster, coin out Muster, obviously, and... Oh! Just have one, please. Oh my god. Okay, this, this could still be really good. And then kill it with a weapon plus the, uh, the abusive. Now, I'm not certain if this is gonna work, but it could. So if it's a, a get down... Ah, uh, wow, that's lucky. Yeah, that's not gonna... That's not gonna help. He'd need at least three more secrets to make this lady live. This is fortunate. This is very fortunate. Now my uh, next step is to try and either use Divine Favor or get the Blessing of Kings out uh, on a minion. Like, those are the two that I'm going with. If he goes face now, what? What? He's giving up everything. I think the only thing that that could be then, in this case right now, is Avenge. So, uh... We can actually just ignore everything and go face, but... I don't know, I kind of want to play it slightly safer. So Divine Favor is doing us nothing here. He could actually potentially have a Divine Favor in his hand. He's playing what seems to be the exact same deck that I'm playing, so... Our choices here are Juggler into Secret Keeper, or... I think that's the best play, really. Let me... I'm not even going to say what the ore is there. Let's first check what the secret is. Easiest way to check. Oh wow, that is so fortunate. <laughs> and so, so terrible for this guy. Yeah, we can take the two. So now Consecrate is, is a big concern, but these decks don't usually run Consecrate. If he's running Consecrate, I feel sorry for him. But it would obviously be really good right now. I, I'm i pretty confident that we've got this. If he plays a Secret now, then he buffs up my Secret Keeper as well. We have not played a single secret and we get the mysterious challenge. So on turn six, like what's he even gonna what's he gonna do? Uh 
Now I want to spread the love a little bit. So because of that, we're going to put the kings on here. We're going to put the secret keeper. No, no, we're going to put the knife juggler on there. We're going to kill that. And then we attack. That's it. Next turn, the ideal is uh, creeper divine favor, but I don't think he's going to have anything in his hand. Well, maybe he will if he plays this now. Oh, sick. Uh, I get to draw one whole card. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Do I even draw one? Yeah, I draw, I draw one. I draw one. Uh, ah, change of plan. So, on the next turn, I am pretty certain he's going to play the, the Mysterious Challenger, which I can deal with pretty easily, but I'm going to save the weapon charge for that, firstly. I just think that right now, however, uh, as much as I want to get something out of the Divine Favor, it might not be the best play. Actually, you know what? We should do it. Because if we go with Noble Sacrifice... Let me think. No, we should go Haunted Reaper. Okay, here we go. Damn, I really wanted that juggle to hit. So if he has Mysterious Challenger, then he's still in the game. But if he doesn't... And even so, j Barely. Barely in the game. If he doesn't, he's, he's dead. He's done. Who am yeah, I? I thought so. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to play mine on the next turn. And I'm going to pull out probably more secrets than him. I think I might have one extra secret. I also think that... Uh, and, and that might be repentance. So, like, even even if it is repentance, do we care? No, we want the secrets. We don't, we don't want the extra health on the Mysterious Challenger. That's... Probably not repentance even. Let's see. Let's see. None of your business. Yeah, okay. Uh, so the order in which these need to be triggered. We're going to go with the Haunted Creeper. And we're going to put it face. So there's that. Uh, the Avenger is going to stack on this. Uh, that will get resurrected by redemption, and then at the start of the turn it'll be competitive spirit, I guess. I I don't think this guy has even any semblance of a chance left now. So he's got a massive dude, uh, which I guess I can kill if I wanted, but I am rather just going to pop this over here, uh, and then go face with everything else. Because we are so close to lethal that, you know, doesn't even really matter. And he gets blocked off by Noble Sacrifice now anyway. We got all the secrets. All the secrets. And then obviously when the Noble Sacrifice dude comes in, the juggle goes out, which means twice, twice, which means it'll take down whatever he plays as well. Because we get lucky with the juggles, right? Thank you. Is he not going to attack? For duty. I was about to say, I'd be really surprised if he didn't attack. Get down! Oh! That's close to lethal. And there's competitive spirit as well, after the Avenge is done. Get down! Wow, that's... that's a board. That's a pretty stacked board. Oh, he hasn't passed his turn yet. Come on, dude. Aww. Oh well. Secret Paladin. <laughs> uh, that's how it's done. Now, I could potentially mix the deck up a little bit, but it seems effective, so why change something that isn't broken? I did get a bit lucky in that game. I had a, a strong enough curve, and I kind of waded my way through the secrets well enough to not get punished by them too much, but it doesn't always happen like that. Uther versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. Avenge doesn't work so well with Haunted Creeper. Uh, I want to keep the Haunted Creeper, so I'm dropping the Avenge. That's, wow, infinitely better. This would have been so much so much better if I... Oh, okay, that's that's good. So he is 
getting the coin. What do they coin out? Elix, knife jugglers. Uh, the chances are he'll really just play like a web spinner. I, I guess that goes out regardless. He's coining. Okay, so what could he possibly coin out? Uh, a haunted creeper, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it could be any of those things. I, I don't think he'd play the Elec. Oh, the scientist. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Of course. Oh, sick. Uh, we kill it. We kill it. We don't know which one to play. <laughs> um. His turn two is probably going to look very much like this. So we're going to take a chance and put this one out. I don't know. Maybe another one? Man, I hate playing against Hunter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so confident right now that that's a freezing trap. Muster is the best use of our mana, but I, th I actually like Redemption and Haunted Creeper here. Look, we know we know that this is freezing. We gotta trigger it immediately. Uh, I I want to do this against Hunter. I I like having something on the board, just something, you know, because a lot of the minions and stuff that they would play uh, end up being really low hit points. Like, if he has to go an animal companion now, then that's a real mixed bag. If he gets Huffer, then I can just kill it. That's difficult. God. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, I think so. It just makes it a massive threat now. He can gamble with the uh, the juggles, but if he doesn't hit... He, he should hit. He should hit, right? If he doesn't hit... <laughs> he has to put this on here. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's going face. Whoa. Whoa. Uh... No way, so I get to Put this apple on your head. Juggle Master? I don't juggle master the way I wanted to juggle master because uh, if I had made the mistake of mustering now and popped that, that could have hit this. So if I had not attacked first it would have been devastating. The best possible play is actually just putting this here. I think I think this is right. Then letting these juggles pop out first. Uh, and then I'm I'm obviously dropping the redemption on this, but I can play the shielded mini mod soon. And then I obviously get the other juggles. This is better. This is better. And then we do we even? I don't have it. I don't. I don't have enough mana. Do we even? No, we don't. We don't. We, we actually draw. Job move quickly. See, because master would have been a huge overextension, massive. I probably would have lost right then and there if I had mustered to uh, unleash. So if he keeps going face now, which I, I think he will, yeah, I think he will, we're still in an okay spot because now we can muster and now I think it's slightly better. But then again, there's, there's still the, the secret. So if it's an explosive trap, damn, what do you even do? Okay, okay. What I think we do is we ignore the mad scientist for one more turn, and... Ooh, but it might die if I muster. So essentially we can't. Uh, we... we have to trade out, so we put this here. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's what I said before. Explosive. 
I really wanted that to hit. <laughs> Not the greatest use. Not the greatest use of Noble Sacrifice, because Redemption is just gonna... Oh, okay, saving the flea. Nice. Eh. I, not so devastating, could have been worse. Uh, a flare against a secret paladin, I I think is is generally much, much more of a big thing than that. Right now... I think he's got another flare. Honestly, I think he's got another flare. Uh, I also don't, I don't really know if he's got uh, an unleash. Look, he's not played Unleash yet, but then again, I haven't overextended into Unleash yet, so the choices think. now are pretty limited. Thing is, I want to juggle, and I want to also pop the trap, and there's just so much. So, the only way to do it ready. is like this. I, I think I've played into Unleash here. It's bad, but... It's bad, but it's what we've got. I, I don't know if we're gonna make this one, guys. <laughs> we're on turn 7 and we haven't seen the Mysterious Challenger yet. That's good for us. That's really good for us. Uh, because we're just gonna ignore it and go face. That's why. Catch. For justice. Get in there and fight, maggot. Look. Reporting for duty. Damn, you know, I can I can kill this so easily right now. So if I put this on here, it's three, it's four. Uh then I can... I've already attacked. Ah, uh, damn. If I go face, 25. Uh, this is 5, 6 damage. 7, 8, potentially. Okay, Juggle needs to hit this guy. Sick. The battle! The battle! The battle! Oh! Yeah, okay, I mean, <laughs> we're going all in, we're going all in. Uh, this is, this is time for his second flare, I guess. Man, if you, if you take into two flares, then you are really, 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 really salty about losing to secret paladins, right? That is just, I don't think he's got a second one. He would have played it right now, right? I, I feel him. I, I do. I, legit. It's a thing. A thing that I hate. So we're using redemption on this now. Uh, bringing it back. Nice juggle. Nice juggle. It's a good redemption if it survives, if he doesn't go for the, the unleash now. But if he goes for the unleash, I mean, I can just concede. Kill command. Only thing that saves me now... Is not that. Reporting for duty. The battle. Oh, I live. For justice. Look, to be perfectly honest, I'm not dead. I. Uh, I don't know what I could draw into. That no, no. The only thing I could draw into right now is mysterious challenger. Iron Beak Owl. Do I even have Iron Beak Owl on this deck? <laughs> I need Iron Beak Owl. Uh, there's a kill command. Oh, quick shot. Okay. Uh, I'm dead. Competitive Spirit. Thank you. Let's see what we get. Master. Okay. Give me some good fortune. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Crap. Reporting for duty. Wait. I'm being carried by the juggler. And I'll go and kill the juggler. Maybe he's got no damage in hand. Maybe he has nothing. That's that's an unleash. That's an unleash. 
Okay, he's got some. Damn it! Oh my god, he top decked that. Thing is, you can't be unhappy about a hunter top decking direct damage because there's so much direct damage in a hunter's uh, deck and arsenal that there's always going to be something. But that was actually. I, I don't like saying it, but that was actually kind of lucky. Then <laughs> we again. Come on, the game that I played there. Ugh. That. That was bad. I didn't get any secret keepers. I didn't get the mysterious challenger. What did I have? Nothing. Nothing good. But that was the secret paladin. The one that I'm running right now, at least. I'm not certain it's the best. It does rely so heavily on getting at least a couple of these power cards. I think in a game like that specifically, uh, something like the pilot shredder could have been really helpful. Really, really helpful. But, eh. It happens. It does happen. It's got a good win rate on the ladder at the moment, so if you want to play something relatively uh, simple, because it is quite easy to play, then this is, a, this is a good one. I don't know if it's super cheap, but it's kind of cheap, because it's only got, you know, these epics. And again, there are different variations that work better and worse. But you can let me know what you think about this one, and about Secret Paladin in general. Do you hate it? I personally don't. I mean, I think it's a... A decent deck, it's just a little irritating sometimes when you get owned so so hard and there's like nothing you can do. But I mean, any deck out there can actually have games like that. You can make like your own custom little special combo deck, and when the stars align for you, you're gonna own someone. So if you're on the receiving end of that, obviously it's gonna feel bad, but you should always just know that it can happen to anyone and you could have potentially counted it by drawing one card differently. So there you go. Ranked play. I'm enjoying it a lot. Okay, I am. There are a lot of other decks that I want to play. Uh, still show off. And so on and so forth. So check back here soon for more. Give it a like, share and do all your stuff. Most important though. Happy Secret Paladin. Christmas Tree Paladin. Riddledon or whatever other names they chose for it on the ladder. Happy that. <laughs>